Hey, so what is a stream? I'm looking at the Java doc. We're going to look at it together. Um, so a stream really is a different conceptual way of thinking about uh, a linear collection or an ordered collection. We, we've talked about arrays. We've talked about lists. Those are both examples of things that we can convert quite easily into a stream. What's really different about a stream is how we work with those linear collections. So what we've been typically doing when we're working with arrays and lists is we've been writing loops. That's been how we've been going through things. So if I want to count, write a loop, have some criteria inside the loop to determine what to count, I'm done. Want to filter, you know, create a new list, go through the list. If it meets the criteria, add it to the, to the filter list, whatever. Um, and so these are common operations that we can do that involve loops. Now, the problem here or the opportunity is that in a lot of cases, there are these patterns that we fall into, right? Like filtering, uh, counting, mapping, where I take one list and I transform it in some way. I might take a list of objects and of all the same type and extract one property from them and move it into another list. So that's an example of mapping, extracting you know, a property and putting in another list. For every object, you know, there's a, there's a new object in this new list that's a result of calling the same method or using the same getter or whatever. Um, what streams allow me to do is really strip away a lot of the boilerplate code for a lot of these common operations and replace it with very compact descriptions of exactly what I want to accomplish. Let me show you how to do that. So let's say I wanted to filter a, a, a list, right? I know how to do that using a for loop. I create an empty list and then I do a test and I go through the list I'm filtering. I have a test inside of it. And if it, the element matches the test, I add it to that, to that list. Um, with a stream, what I can do is streams have a filter method. The filter method returns a new stream. So if I take a stream of values, I filter them. That filter is a particular type of functional interface that has to return a Boolean. If it says, if elements match the predicate, they end up in the new stream. And so now this is a single operation that really includes only what I'm doing, which is the filter, and then the criteria, which is going to be a, um, a function in, that's passed to the filter. I want to point out that this approach really leverages some of these functional features of Java uh, that we've talked about in the past. So for example, Lambda expressions. You see a couple here in the example. In fact, I see a filter in the example. I don't know what widgets are, but I can filter the stream of widgets. And in this case, the criteria that I'm passing is that W dot get color is equal to red. And again, I don't need you know, what the constant is and what these are is not important. But the idea is, look at what I was able to do there in a single line, rather than writing a loop and having to create a new list and things like that. Um, in a single line, I took the stream and I've transformed it in this way that's very, very common when processing data. So the operations on streams are really drawn from the experience programmers have had working with data and the types of operations that you do that are common when you're working with data. A lot of these are built right into a stream. So let's think about some other ones. Uh, sorting, right? A lot of times I want to sort something. I want to sort uh, a stream before I do further processing on it. I have sorted methods here. I have a sorted method that will sort based on the, the built-in sort. Um, or I can pass a comparison function like we've talked about before, where that allows me to compare each individual element. So that's pretty cool. Um, what about mapping? We talked before that I might want to take some objects, extract a property from them, and then do some work on that, that, that stream of properties. I have a map method. And again, that map method takes one stream and it produces a new stream. And what's interesting here is that the new stream has a different type. Um, you know, and that's typical because a lot of times when I map, like I might map like a, a string and map to the length of the string. So what I start out with is a stream of strings, but I have with the stream of bits. So these are just some examples. This Java doc is, is available to you. I, I would browse through it uh, as you start to acquaint yourself with this new, really powerful programming paradigm. This is a really, really cool way to work with data. It's very elegant. It's very concise. It's very powerful. Um, and it's something that I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with because you will like it. You will get used to thinking this way. And then you will also find this type of thinking supported in pretty much every other programming language.